Hey there, how's it going everybody? In this video, we're going to be learning how to install Ubuntu Linux on VirtualBox. So I plan on doing more Linux tutorials in the near future. So if you'd like to have a fresh install to follow along, or if you'd just like to give Linux a try, then this will be a good starting point. So first we'll need to download and install VirtualBox. So this is pretty straightforward, uh, so I'm not going to go into too much detail here. But if you just do a quick search on Google for VirtualBox, then it should take you to the downloads page. And that's here at uh, virtualbox.org. Now from here you can choose your operating system and walk through the installation. So for example, I'm on a Mac, so I would choose the OS X installation here. So I already have VirtualBox installed, so I'm not going to walk through that. But it's just a very simple step-by-step -step process that you click through, just like installing any other software. So after you get that installed, then if you open it up, then it should look like this here. So now that we have VirtualBox installed, we're going to need to download the Ubuntu Linux ISO file. So this will allow us to install the operating system. So do a quick Google search for Ubuntu, and it should take you to their homepage that looks something like this. So once you go here, then you can go to the Downloads page, and the Ubuntu desktop should be the first option here. So if we go ahead and choose the desktop, now you can see here it has a couple of recommended system requirements and we can just go over here and click download. Now this is free open source software but it will take you to a donation page um, so you can donate if you'd like to but if you'd just like to download the ISO file then you can go to not now and take me to the download. Now your download here should start automatically. Now you can see that this is a pretty large file. So here this is nearly one and a half gigs. So I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward this video to when it's finished downloading. Okay, so once we have that downloaded, now let's go ahead and minimize Chrome here and pull up VirtualBox. So now we're ready to create a new virtual machine. So let's go ahead and choose new. Now for the name here, let's just go ahead and call this Ubuntu Linux. And for the type, it's just going to be Linux. And it's auto-selected Ubuntu 64-bit for the version. So let's go ahead and keep that and continue. Now we're not gonna go into too much detail with some of these setup options. Basically, we're just saying how much memory and disk space we want allocated to our virtual machine. And this depends on your computer, but you're usually safe staying within the green sections here. So for my memory, I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, 40, 96 megabytes, which is four gigabytes. And for the hard disk here, I'm gonna leave that default. And I'm gonna leave the virtual box disk image as the default there. I'm gonna leave that as dynamically allocated. Now for the hard disk size, I'm actually gonna bump this up to 25 gigabytes here because that's what Ubuntu recommends on their downloads page. Now you can probably get by with allocating less, but I'm gonna go ahead and do the 25. So now we have that machine created, but there's one more setting that I'm gonna change before we install Ubuntu. So if we select our machine and go to settings, then we can see that we can change some of the values that we just set, uh, but there are also a lot of other customizations that we can make within here. So one change I'm gonna make is I'm gonna go to the display tab and the video memory, I'm gonna go ahead and bump, bump this up to uh, the max. And that's just going to improve our performance when we start the virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Okay, so now we're ready to install Ubuntu. So we install this using the ISO file that we downloaded earlier. So to do this, we can select our ISO by going down here to storage and clicking on this empty optical drive and then go to choose disk image. And then we just navigate to where we downloaded that ISO file and select that ISO file and click open. So now you can see that it has that ISO file attached. So now we can just go ahead and start this virtual machine to install Ubuntu. Okay, so the actual installation here is a pretty straightforward process, but we'll go ahead and walk through this really quickly. So now we can just go here to install Ubuntu. Now this is optional here. I usually choose to download the updates while it's installing, so I don't, don't have to do it later. Um, but for the sake of time here, I'm just gonna go ahead and leave this unchecked, but it's up to you whether you wanna download those updates now. So now since this is a fresh installation, we can just leave this erase disk and install and go to install now. And then here we can just choose continue. 
And then here you can just go ahead and choose your time zone and then continue. And I'll just keep walking through here and now it'll bring up to where we can type in our name and choose a name for our computer if we would like and also a password. And you need to remember this password because it's gonna be what you use to log in whenever we restart the machine. So let's go ahead and continue there. And now this will install the operating system. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this install and fast forward until that's complete. Okay, so once that installation is complete, then it'll come up here and ask you to restart. So let's go ahead and do that. Now at this point, you may run into this problem where it freezes and it gives you this warning. And I have to be honest, I didn't really understand this warning until I did a little research online. But basically it's a harmless warning and we can just manually exit out of here to power down the machine. So if we were to start that machine back up, then it should just be good to go. But if you do want to suppress that warning, then I did see a few people say that you could come in here to settings and then you can go to system and acceleration and you can turn off this enabled nested paging, but it's never really been an issue for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that checked and just start back up my machine here. Okay, so once we start our machine back up, then everything should be installed and we should see a login screen here. So now we can just sign in with the password that we specified during the installation. Okay, so now we have an Ubuntu desktop ready to go, uh, but we're not quite done yet. Uh, one thing you're gonna wanna do is install Guest Edition software. Uh, so Guest Edition software will fix the display settings that so that you can use Linux in full screen, and it'll also allow you to share directories between your host computer and the VM, and it'll also allow you to share your clipboard, which means you'll be able to copy and paste back and forth between your host computer and your VM. Uh, so for example, right now, uh, this is full screen, and you can see that it doesn't take up much of the screen and that we have a lot of wasted space here on the sides, and Guest Editions will fix this. Now there's a couple of different ways that you can do this, but one of the simplest ways is just to come up here to Devices, and then you can choose Insert Guest Editions CD Image. So this will pop up here and ask us if we want to run this software, and we go ahead and do that. And then we will have to put in our password. And once that's done, it will ask us to go ahead and restart. So to restart, we can just uh, up here in the top right, we can choose shut down. And when we choose shut down, we can go to restart. Okay, so once that's done, you can see that now we're in full screen and that the VM uses all the space that it didn't before. Um, so now we can just go ahead and log back in here. Okay, so now you should be good to go. Uh, so you have a working, fresh installation of Ubuntu. And if you ever want to follow along with any of my command line tutorials, um, then you can just come up here and search for the terminal and run that. And you can just come in here and start playing around with uh, any of these commands. Okay, so I think that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, for people who are new to using VirtualBox, one of the first things that they usually wanna know is how to do simple things like getting Guest Edition software installed if it isn't already, and we've already done that on this machine. Uh, they also would like to know how to copy and paste back and forth between the host and virtual machine, and also how to share folders between the host and virtual machine. And I'm putting together a quick video covering how to do all of that uh, if it's something that you wanna learn. And I'll put a link to that video in the description section below once I get it released. If you do have any questions, then feel free to ask in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer those. If you enjoy these tutorials and would like to support them, then there are several ways you can do that. Uh, the easiest way is to simply like the video and give it a thumbs up. Uh, also, it's a huge help to share these videos with others who you think would find them useful. And if you have the means, you can contribute to the channel through Patreon, and there's a link to that page in the description section below. Uh, be sure to subscribe for future videos, and thank you all for watching.